Hi, Liz Ness here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Madras plaid inside of Procreate. It's a three part stamp process so that we can have three different colors. And that's part of the beauty of the Madras plaid. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have open here a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas and I have my drawing guide on, but we're going to adjust that in just a moment. And this is at 300 DPI, which translates out to 360 uh, pixels by 360 pixels. So let's go ahead and adjust our drawing guide here. We're going to tap the wrench and drawing guide selected. We're going to hit, hit uh, edit drawing guide and I want to dial that up just a bit. I'm thinking 300 here. Yep, that's good actually. Okay, and when you're satisfied, go ahead and tap done. Okay, and then we're going to select from the um, black, the monochrome palette that is available. I'll leave a link in the description below at my site for free just to everyone. Um, we're going to select this 75% uh, gray here for our first color. And then we're going to go over and for the brushes, we're going to use the essential shapes, the four by six photo size. And... Um, and that is available to subscribers and I'll leave a link in the video below too, but you could use a uh, brush and, and go ahead and make lines uh, instead if you'd like, but this is just gonna be a lot faster. So I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm gonna cheat this way. Um, okay, and I'm also using my finger just so that uh, the pressure doesn't like make it a little bit more um, opaque or transparent than I'd like. I want it just to be what it is, 75% gray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap down and then I'm gonna select my transform tool there and I'm just gonna move this over. And I have snapping selected here uh, for my transform options, which is great. So it'll snap on top and bottom and show me when it's at the top and bottom, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grow this. And I want it to be the size of one of these columns here. And um, let's see, we're just gonna make it a little bit over just so that we know, and we're gonna bring it up just so that it goes over the whole thing. And whatever is not on the canvas will be completely cut off, which is perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap my transform tool again now. Okay, so this is a great start. Um, the next thing, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one and make it uh, transparent. So let's make a duplicate. And that way we always have something that we can start with in case I accidentally squeeze them all together and have forgotten to save one. So, okay. So we have this first one, but I actually want this to be a little bit smaller uh, along the edge, but I want to take this one. Let's see, do I want, well, actually, I think I want it to be a different color too. So along the edges is great, but let's go ahead and make a duplicate here. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and move this one out of the way for a moment here. And I do want to make sure that it's lined up because I don't want it to be cut off in a strange shape. Okay, now let's go back to that first one right there. And let's go ahead and turn it into 50% gray there. So we're selecting the 50% gray and then we're just gonna, oops, drop it in right there. And now I'm gonna select my transform tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and, let's see, I want freeform selected. Whoops, freeform, there we go. And I want this to just move in kind of like right about there. That's that's kind of a good size. Okay, now we can go back. Oh wait, ah, I, I, I recolored the wrong one. I actually want this one to be dark because I want there to be a darker square. Um, that's kind of how the pattern works. So let's go ahead and undo that. Um, okay, take it back to the color it was. Let's go ahead and hit the transform tool and squish it down. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, now let's go back to this other one and let's make it the 50% gray. There we go. Okay, and then we wanna move this around too. So let's see, where do I want this? I kinda of want it a little off center, which it kind of is, but let's see, do I want it that far off center or do I want it even more off center? I actually think I want a little bit more off center. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and create a duplicate of that. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so I have all together about five, well, I do five lines here. This one's darker and then these ones are a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna go ahead and squish those together to form a single layer here. Okay, now I'm gonna create, a, let's see, a duplicate of this bottom layer that's invisible. And then I'm gonna bring that on top here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the visibility there. And this will be a, a second color uh, when we do our stamp. So let's see, where do I want this one? I am going to 
let's see, do I, and do I want it to be quite so dark? I think I do want it dark, but I don't think I want it quite as wide. So let's go ahead and take our transform tool and let's see. I am thinking somewhere around middle, like right about there, and I want it to be lined up. And I think I'm gonna just draw it in just a bit like that. And I do like the fact that it's dark. Okay, and I'm gonna do another dark one, so duplicate. And then I'm gonna move it over to, I think right about there. And I think I want just a tad narrower like that. seems pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pinch these together. Okay, that makes our second, that will be our second color. And this will all come together and be more obvious when we get there um, in the end. So kind of bear with me. <laughs> Got one more layer to make here um, for our next stamp. Okay, oops, I didn't need to make a new layer. Sorry. I just need to go ahead and um, make this one visible and let's go ahead and drag it all the way to the top so that as we make new layers, they're all up there. Okay, so that's our new one. And let's see, how dark do I want that? I think, do I want it 75? I think I am, I'm gonna stick with the 75 on this one and I'm gonna do a few less lines for this one. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and pinch these together. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and make our texture brushes. So we're gonna go back and make visible that first one. I'm sorry, the first layer that we made. And um, what we're gonna do is go over to uh, the brushes and we're gonna go back to, let's see, actually, where were those essentials? Okay, instead of shapes, this time we're gonna start with starters. And we're gonna select this texture starter and we're gonna gently slide it to the left and duplicate it. And then I'm just gonna put that right into my demo, whoops, I'm gonna put it right into my demos pile there. Okay, and um, now I'm gonna come over to my wrench and I'm going to select add and copy canvas. And then I'm gonna go over to that texture starter and tap it twice to open it. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the name. Let's go ahead and just call this Madras One. Okay. And um, the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, this brush will tell you which of the two, shape or grain, that you need to replace. And so it tells us that we need to replace the grain. So we're gonna tap Edit, Import, and Paste. Okay, this looks great. And the brighter colors will be the ones that um, are the darkest of our pigment when we are using this as a stamp. And that'll come in handy later on. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, let's tap done so that we know that that's the, the uh, picture that we want, the source that we want. But notice that it's not transparent like, like we want it. So we're gonna go over to rendering really quick and we're gonna change that to light glaze. All right, and I'm thinking I want this to be a lot bigger. And I'm also going to check something here. All right. Yeah. We want to make sure if you have offset jitter on that you turn it off and let's see blend mode. I think I want to change that to just, um, oops. Whoa. Do I want a linear, linear burn or Hmm. I kind of feel like I want linear burn instead. Okay, I think that's exactly what I want. Okay. Yep. Okay, so linear burn instead of uh, multiply. Okay, and then I'm also going to check out the, the scale and zoom here. So I'm going to draw this up quite a bit. I think something around, well, Let's see, do I want about 50% or 40? Maybe 40% is good. And let's see, 
the zoom, let's see, 40% and 35 okay so i've changed scale to 40 zoom to 34 and blend mode to linear burn and i've changed the rendering to be light glaze and that's all of the changes that i've made in addition to the shape and the name of this brush and so when i'm satisfied i'm just going to go ahead and tap done okay now i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this brush twice okay and so now I'm going to select that second one there. It's got two ones, which tells me it's the second one. And I'm going to come over to make invisible this layer one and make the next layer visible. Okay, and that's the second part of our design here. So we're going to go ahead and tap the wrench, add and copy canvas. And then we're going to go into that second brush there. And we're going to go to the grain, edit, import, and paste. Awesome. Perfect. Done when we're done. And I'm not going to change the name because it's got the two ones. It tells me it's number two, but you can change the name if you like. But we're just going to go ahead and tap done. And now we're ready to select that third brush. And we're going to make invisible that second layer and make visible that third layer for ourselves. And wrench, add, and copy canvas. And we're going to come over to this third one there and go to grain, edit, import, and paste. Okay, awesome. Done. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure that all of my brushes, I'm going to do this just before I even start testing them, that they're all dialed up to 100%. There we go. Okay, just so I don't make any mistakes. All right, now I'm going to make invisible that last layer, and then I'm going to put a layer on top of it, and I'm going to start um, testing out my brushes with some colors. So I have some colors um, that are in my palette here that I like, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this nice red color. And I'm going to choose that first brush and yep. Okay. And I'm going to just kind of squish this down just a little bit so that I don't accidentally run into the bottom bar here. And then I'm just going to use my brush. Awesome. There we go. Just going up and down here. And I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything over the side there. And I did not. Okay. This is looking good. Okay, that's all done now. Okay, so that's that's great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and combine these three layers just like that by pinching them together. And then I'm gonna create a duplicate. And with that duplicate, I'm gonna select my transform tool and I'm gonna rotate 45 degrees twice. And that gives me a nice look. Wow, that's, that's really cool, I like that. Uh, and if it's too bright, which maybe it's a bit bright here, you can always dial it down so and just make it match so you've got 60 say let's go 60 percent here 61 it looks like and we'll do the same for this one 61 percent whoops i did not mean to hit add with my thumb <laughs> okay so 61 percent, and that makes for a really nice madras pattern and you can of course use any color you want um and uh, you can actually make all of this the same color if you want um i think that would look really good actually let's try that out real quick Let's just go ahead and go over to the wrench, add, copy canvas, and then paste, and that paste on top, and then let's select our um, adjustments and our hue saturation. Oh, that's how we can change all the colors, just like that, kind of fun, right? Ooh, that's kind of a neat look. Okay, and we can go ahead and undo that, but we can also desaturate it or give it a different look just by oops, going to our adjustments and our gradient map, which will be kind of fun. So like if we chose this basic gradient and that's all one color, it's the greens or whatever, or this breeze, which kind of gives a different look. So this is so versatile and it's so much fun to play with in Procreate. And I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. I've enjoyed making this pattern. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you're notified when new videos become available. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.